Hey guys, how's it going? Today we've got another cool horn to look at. So, this is something that's really special, uh, really cool too. Uh, this is really a first of its kind. Uh, the person who uh, designed this and printed it up uh, did a great job and they put a lot of work into this. So, I personally don't have any part in designing this. Uh, I just was the first to get my hands on it. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna go over it. So this is gonna be more of like a review of the horn. So what we've got here is a 3D printed P5. Uh, so it's pretty much an exact copy of a Nathan Airchime P5. Uh, it does have the branding of the person who made it on here. It doesn't say Nathan Airchime. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much a P5. So currently it is set up as a P0135. Uh, I also have a 4A bell here and then a number four. So we have three different variants we can make with this, uh, seven bells total. We do have a gold wing manifold also. So this horn, the manifold and the bells are printed uh, out of uh, PETG um, mm -hmm. is the, I guess, material. And then the internals, uh, like the gaskets and the nozzle, those, those are uh, TPU. So I don't know much about 3D printing. I don't have a 3D printer and uh, most of that's kind of over my head, but uh, really cool though. So it doesn't weigh much. Um, I'll turn it sideways. Like I said, this is the P0 bell right here, which is the longest variant you can have on a P-horn. Um, a real P0 bell, they sell for $1,200, $1,400, and I've seen them go really high. Um, so this is a way somebody could afford to have a zero bell if they wanted to mimic the sound. Um, so with this horn, uh, this ran me around, around $800. Now those prices could change. Uh, I'm not sure what the final price is gonna be because I think there's still some design tweaks that are being made to this horn. Uh, as I said, this is the first one and it's actually labeled on the tag because it has its own tag as number one. Uh, so I think there's still some designs that are that are being changed a little bit, maybe with uh, maybe some strengthening of the feet on the bells, uh, because I do know that if you over tighten these, uh, it will crack the feet. You have to be really careful. Uh, you don't want to crank them down, but you have to get them tight enough so that you don't blow out your cork gaskets. Because with P horns, they clamp down to the manifold with a cork gasket in between. K horn has more of like an O-ring. So with the cork gasket, if you don't have the bells clamped uh, good enough, that air pressure will actually blow that gasket out of between the bell foot and the manifold. So you gotta make sure they're tight enough. But you don't wanna over tighten them because you risk cracking the feet. So uh, anyway, the, I haven't had much trouble. I actually did have one foot crack on me, um, but uh, that's being addressed. So uh, I think we're fine there, but they are fra a little bit fragile, but def definitely more fragile than a standard uh, cast aluminum horn. Um, I mean, if you put this under a vehicle and road, to be road debris striked it or anything like that, you'd probably have damage. But anyway, as far as sound, they sound great. They sound really, really good. I was very surprised. They are just as loud as a normal uh, Nathan Airchime P5. Um, this horn is running dual diaphragms. So they ship with single diaphragms. Uh, I opted to purchase five extra diaphragms so I could run dual uh, just to see the differences of single versus dual. Uh, so in these videos, you're gonna see those, this all dual diaphragm. Um, so like I said, this is set up P01235. Uh, you're gonna see videos P01235. You're gonna see videos of just a regular P5 and then a P5A with the 4A bell. Uh, this thing took about six days to print uh, from start to finish. Uh, I, I have a few pictures of the printing process. I don't have any video of it. Uh, but anyway, pretty, pretty cool. So the manufacturer, the way you say it, I know in the uh, video of my unboxing, I wasn't sure how to say it. It is, and I wrote it down here, it's uh, Willident Stimming, or I'm sorry, Willident Stimming Fabrication. So. Uh, that is how you say it, Willident Stimming, or Stimming. Uh, so anyway, that's how you say it. With this horn, when you purchase it, you do get paperwork. Uh, I'll put some pictures up of the uh, instructions and the paperwork that comes with it. Uh, it comes with the hardware and the gaskets, and then it also comes with these two little tools that he's printed out, 
And I believe these are just tools that will fit in the side of the manifold and the front of the manifold if you want to pull those plugs, uh, I think is what these are for. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see. The, uh, I think that that's about it for this horn. Um, I will let you see these videos and uh, see what you think. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this horn versus a regular P5. I'll just show it to you, you know, in this orientation. Um, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool horn. I, I was very, very impressed by, uh, by its, I guess, appearance when I first unboxed it. And, uh, I mean, it's really cool being 3D printed. So, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. Y'all enjoy this. Uh, here are the videos of the 3D printed uh, P5. Okay, so we're going to start with individual bells first. We're going to start with the zero bell and work up to the number five. Also, notice how these bells squeak like a real P horn does. Following will be the run bys and static test. Yeah.